What is happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new OBS tutorial. It is Tuesday, it's amazing new OBS tutorial for you guys and in today's and, and, and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to stream on YouTube. So last week I showed you guys how to stream on Twitch, uh, which is pretty easy. So for, if you want to see that video, the link is in the description. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys like how to um, configure OBS and on YouTube to be able to stream in HD without any lags or like frame drops. On YouTube so I think yeah without further ado let's get started all right so as you can see we're at the OBS screen as always and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings and you just want to click on settings again boom and then this window pops up and this is just general those are just your um, you just I don't know your your profiles and stuff so I got this one on streaming uh, so you want to go to encoding and you just want to do a speed test just like last time so your maximum bit rate is it depends on um, like streaming so basically mine is at 3500 of course because I have a very high upload speed I think like four and a half um, so I'll be able to um, stream on 1080p which is 3500 so the first thing you want to do is take a speed test and then keep in mind your upload speed so let's say your upload speed is 3.1 you're not going to put in 3.1 on this bar but just type in 3100 and let's say if your upload speed is like like four, which is just 4,000. You wanna pick your CPU, uh, your graphics card, and high motion in terms of like Minecraft, Battlefield, and then just wanna type in your upload speed, and then just gonna click on recommend settings. And as you can see at the bottom, you can do all of this, set it to 30 FPS, but the most important part is just this one. Recommend a bit rate and buffer size. You just wanna keep those and go back to OBS, and you just wanna place in 3,500 like I did, and 3,500, so that's it for encoding. So you're going to go to the broadcast settings and of course if you put this one on live stream and streaming service is not Twitch this time but it is YouTube. So I'm going to click on this one and to get your stream key from YouTube you just want to go to YouTube. You want to create a new event as you can see we're a new event. So I'm going to just as a, as a title of this new stream you're just going to play, uh, press test. Today I just want to start it on like a, maybe I don't know 12 a.m. I don't know just 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 for showing purpose only. Uh, you just want to type in the description, your tags of your stream, uh, and then if you want to public, unlisted, or private, I'm, I'm going to keep private because I don't want to go live. I want to go to advanced settings, and this is where you can like enable the live chat if people if people can chat with you live. Just standard YouTube license, of course. And um, you know, just the video lang uh, the video language is just a stream language and category. If you're gaming, when it plays in gaming, um, I don't know. You can play. You can choose whatever you want with this category. You guys know how it works. And monetization, it depends on if you're a YouTube partner, so you can monetize it with ads. This kind of ads like next to your video, um, like in video streaming, like skippable, and that you cannot skip, of course. And long, no skippable ads, like 30 seconds long. If you're planning to stream like how many, how long you want, so you're not gonna put an end time, you're just gonna choose it yourself. The next thing you wanna do is wanna click on create event. And then it brings you to this page. And this is where you can select your custom thumbnail. So I'm just gonna select a uh, random thumbnail from one of my videos. I don't know, I'm just gonna pick this one like my first OBS tutorial a few weeks ago just that for just a for just the example and then you want to select your bit rates and if your bit rate is 3500 you can choose if you want to go 720p or 1080p so if your bit rate is minimum like 1500 to 4000 3500 is in between when I pick this one it works the same so 3000 and 6000 so 3500 is also in between uh, you can choose if you want to stream on 720 or 1080 so I'm going to pick 1080 and this is where you are gonna um, put in your codes um, in OBS. Okay, so as you can see, this is my stream name. I'm gonna blur it just for safety precautions. So you just wanna pick the code that is under stream name. So we're just gonna just click that, just gonna click on copy. We're gonna go back to OBS, just wanna paste it in the stream path like this. And then you just wanna go to video, that's it for that part, yes. Uh, you wanna just check your video adapter, your graphics card. You can choose if you're gonna downscale your resolution. I don't think you should be able to. You can stream on 30 FPS. You can also stream on 50 FPS or 60 FPS. Yeah, I, I just prefer 30 for streaming. Um, so that's it for the video tab. And yes, I wanna save it. For the audio, you just wanna pick your microphone and your speakers. Nothing special about that. If you wanna boost your microphone, I'm gonna bring this up. I don't think you should be able to put up more than two because your microphone is going to clip really badly. So just put it like two maximum. If you want to boost up your game sound or desktop, you just want to press this up. I'm just going to leave it how it is. And advanced, you want, yes, I'm going to save it. And you want to put this on a very fast. If you're going like too slow, you're going to experience a lot of frame drops. So I'm just going to keep this on very fast because the estimator of OBS says it. I'm just going to follow that instruction for OBS. 
put, a norm, put this on normal, 700, and you can leave this, and then you want to just press on OK. You want to go back to YouTube, and then you just want to click on Save Changes. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is you go. You can go to Cards if you want to. You can show it to your viewers if you want to have like a card from like a channel trailer or whatever. You can you just. I'm gonna skip this one, and then you just want to go to the Live Control Room, and this is where the magic happens. Okay, so as you can see, we have this red because it says we are not receiving data from your encoder. Please make sure it is configured correctly in Justin settings page. So the thing is, we're not live. This is not receiving any data. We are not streaming yet on OBS. So to start streaming, um, you just want to make sure everything is everything is correctly. As you can see, the next thing you want to do is when you click on a start stream and then you can go back to YouTube and if you wait a second your stream will load and there we go we have this is just OBS is running and the stream status is good so that means we are ready to go live so you just want to click on preview so you can see so you can click on preview stream if you want to see like what you're doing if you are ready to go live on YouTube only thing you need to do press on this button which says start streaming and when you press this button you're live on YouTube so if you start OBS uh, like this like stop like start streaming you're not live yet this is this not this this does not work like twitch that you press this one and you're live no you just press start streaming and then you want to go back to YouTube and press start streaming in this one and then you are actually live so basically that's it for this OBS tutorial guys it, it's that simple and if this video went by too fast just pause the video where you want it and just keep up so basically I want to thank you guys for watching to this video well I really appreciate it so if you want to see more of this OBS tutorials every Tuesday at 12 p.m. PTC is 9 p.m. CUT uh, make sure you subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful make sure to leave a thumbs up down below is always appreciated and as I always say thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next week so until then I'll see you guys very soon it's me again. Um, I know I, have, I haven't uploaded a video uh, for a while on this channel. You know, all the kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months. Uh, basically, uh, some of you may know uh, that I'm a partner with Media Crowd. Let me explain. It's on the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna uh, put this completely random. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.